All right. Halloween update again, Disneyland Resort. This time Oogie Boogie is up with the arms stretched out there. With all the bats and every fun jack o' lanterns. Across the way at Disneyland, the pumpkins on one side are up. They're starting to be mounted, so we'll look back close when we make our way in there. But that said, let's make our way inside DCA and see what we find. All right, at the front of Cars Land, the tombstone-esque pieces have been added with various phrases on them, dead end here. Those are fun, particularly at night when they get all lit up and they stretch down there to where in the background you can see the new construction wall up there for Bugs Land, but uh, never anything really for Halloween flavor back there anyway. So for the sake of this video, we will just skip over that in. These continue. And then you can see the spiders added up to the webbing area. And then further collection of tombstones. And then the Mater's Petting Zoo. We get the mummified version again. Got some added color here for Luigi's Rollick and Roadsters. And then we already showed video down the way there from yesterday of the other facade. And more of a spider. And celebration, commemoration of the loss of Hudson like last year. This really awesome tribute. It's like a lot of people last year kind of skipped over this area. We had people comment that the season say, oh, where was that at? And it's just right here inside, uh, wow, what's the name of the store? Right here adjacent to Radiator Springs Racer and across the way from Lowe's. So if you missed it last year, you're coming out, definitely check it out. Also the windows, the hoods, uh, had some fun hidden items in them as well for Halloween, so check those out. All right, and then in front of the turnstiles here, at least on the right side turnstiles at Disneyland, we've got Goofy, Mickey, Donald, Minnie, and Pluto all hanging out. Freshened up, and then inside looks like we've got the uh, Halloween time banner, so we'll check those out. All right, and there are those all wing time banners right here in front of the train station. That's when it, to me, feels most like Halloween here, so you can see this. All right, and here in Frontierland, we will wrap up with the Halloween tree, and it is pretty well decked out. Overnight, the jack-o'-lanterns have appeared, all the lights are on, and it's ready to go, except for it's missing its sign explaining its connection to Ray Bradbury and all that. But uh, actually, you know what? I think some jack-o'-lanterns are missing still. So, we'll see. But uh, definitely looking a lot better than it has been and definitely giving that Halloween feel. Tonight's really nice because it actually is feeling a little bit chilly. Not cold by any means, but at least chilly. I know there's a heat wave coming this weekend as Halloween actually kicks off, but uh, at least for the moment, it actually feels like what you would hope Halloween feels like, not what it normally feels like in Southern California in September and October. So that said, we're gonna wrap up this video here. Until next time, see you in line somewhere.